Believers, I'm Daniel from Corliss and today it's another episode of What's in My Box and I ordered a few things that I wanted to share with you guys today so let's talk about it and let's see what they are. All right, right away we have the RODI filters. These are important because when you're running your system you want zero TDS coming out the end of your RODI. That's why I do recommend people having a TDS meter. So even though my meter is still at zero, um, the color changing DI resin has been getting eaten up faster lately. So that means that the water going into there is probably a little bit dirtier than it should be. So by replacing these filters, it should make the DI resin last a little bit longer. So you can do your price comparison, but I think these are cheaper than the DI. So you may want to replace these faster than you do. So, all right. Since we're working on that other tank, the um, science tank, that standalone system with refugium. Um, I did order some plumbing parts for those that are pretty important. And this is a nice quality. These are a little expensive, but it's the ball valve with the union. So if there's ever an issue, you can disconnect it, you can clean it, you can replace it. Um, plus it's an easy turn. It's a whole lot better than the cheap ones you find, the white PVC ones. So I recommend anytime you're gonna make a valve that you're gonna change um, or turn you know, frequently, this is the kind to go with. So you spend your money in the beginning, you won't have to worry about spending it later. And this is that flapper, another union system. This will stop the water and the return line from draining back into the sump, which may be a problem just because we have a five gallon sump. So it's gonna be very tough making sure that that doesn't overflow. Um, okay, and we also got the Red Sea Iodine Pro Test. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to test my iodine is because I want to dose. I know how important iodine is, and if you're not dosing, um, and you're not testing when you're dosing, you can run into some problems. So not only did I get some supplemental iodine from Brightwell Aquatics, but I also got a test to check and make sure. So that's important. Um, those of you who like to dose, always check if you can. Um, I got some more glue for frags since we're doing a lot of Black Friday deals. Um, we got some unbelievable deals for you guys, so Stay tuned to see those. You can also log on to the website right now and make sure you check them out. So that's it for this box right now. But I do have something else I want to show you guys. And that's this thing right here. Um, I'm sure you guys know what this stuff is. Uh, phytoplankton is very important for your aquarium, especially if you're feeding your corals with it. Um, really great to have. So this here is a phytoplankton reactor. And I can't wait to open it up and show you guys, but we're gonna be culturing our own phytoplankton to feed, and I wanna show you guys how easy that is. So, this is pretty impressive. If you guys like this, um, let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Um, I do have one more surprise for you guys to show you something really cool, but when I go over to the other room to show you the tank that we're working on, it has something to do with the plumbing, so stay tuned for that. 